Angelo, what do you feel you have to improve on from last week going into this game, this return leg? No, I think at this point, uh, at this stage of uh, se of, se uh, of season, uh, our our uh, our training, our session, our uh, hours uh, of uh, training is uh, is precious, and I think uh, this week we we are training a lot, and uh, I expect a good performance of, uh, for tomorrow. How different a game will it be now that you're back at Rugby Park? Well, I think it's important to to have uh, the same uh, attitude and uh, approach uh, uh, of the game. Uh, it's uh, very important. This then, of course, uh, we expect uh, another uh, another type of games because uh, uh, we have a great uh, a great uh, respect of Konesquid uh, Nomad, but at the same time, they they they. Uh, uh, their they work and their uh, system is possible is possible to change but uh, not change uh, their uh, attitude at the game the same Kirk, how have you found it so far working under the manager yeah it's been good um, it's a bit different to what we're used to but change is always going to happen when a manager moves on um, the boys have took to it um, it's going to take time until we start getting the manager's ideas across and um, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a few games, as you'll probably see. We'll probably improve this Thursday again because we've worked on it all week. In terms of you and at your stage of your career, how tough is that to change when new ideas come in? Not at all. Um, to be honest, um, I've had it all my career. Everywhere I've went, there's been different managers come in with different ideas. Um, as I said, it just takes a few weeks and the more games we get, the better we'll get at it. Angelo, is it key for your players not to become complacent and <coughs> won the first leg? Ma, this player uh, never uh, could never be complacent because uh, uh, we have to complete uh, this work and uh, tomorrow. And um, I think is uh, no reason, no reason. Uh, no reason to to be uh, complacent tomorrow, because it's Kilmarnock's first home European game in a long, long time. What sort of atmosphere are you expecting at Rugby Park? Well, in, in, tomorrow mm, I I can't uh, I can't uh, wait because uh, it's uh, it's uh, the first uh, uh, home matches for me. It's a real uh, chance to, to say hello to the fans, the support, and uh, uh, for me it's a great uh, opportunity. And uh, I, I think tomorrow uh, will be a great uh, atmosphere, a great atmosphere. And uh, uh, I, w I want to see, I want to, to, uh, to listen to my, uh, my fans, uh, the noise, uh, the passion. Uh, because uh, uh, you know, the support uh, kill is very, very nice. Kirk, you've um, obviously got a lot of European experience yourself throughout your career. How special is it for you to, to be part of a Kilmarnock team back in European action? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, when I first came back, I, I couldn't see this happening. Um, the plans was when I re-signed the Kilmarnock was to try and get in top six. Obviously, we, we took it on to another level and to get in Europe. It's, it's huge for a club of command that size. Um, if you're being honest, um, there's maybe four or five of us that try and get in that top six, and you have the big five. So for us to break that big five and get in, finish third was, it was a fantastic season, to be honest. How special would it be to, with all respect to your opponents, if you can get by them tomorrow, go a little bit further and, and bring maybe a, a, a big name here to... To rugby park. Yeah, of course, it's only half time, but I think we are favourites. Um, we are the bigger club out of the two of them. We've got a lead from the away leg, we're at home, so we'll be going to try and win the game. Angelo, how um, important is it that the players and the, the fans have a little bit of patience tomorrow? Maybe Connors Key will come and, and sit in and be very defensive or, or look to be a bit more defensive. Um, how important is it that everyone is patient and just like the first leg showed, 
it will come, it will happen if they trust in the game plan and they play to the game plan. See, see, I, I know, I know, yes. Um, but it, uh, we 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 uh, in, in this uh, in this uh, one uh, about one month we work a lot, uh, and uh, I want to 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 see the increase our performance, all players, and uh, of course we have to play uh, better uh, than uh, last week. We we do our our football, and I want to to see this. Uh, because uh, I think my players uh, they can improve uh, game, uh, game game to game, and uh, I expect uh, this uh, a good uh, a great atmosphere because uh, I know this uh, these players are uh, able <coughs> to do a good game, and uh, I want to to see this. Just a similar question to yourself Kurt, from a player's point of view: How important is it again that first match showed you that you know? with a bit of patience, you know, trusting in the system and the, the way that the game's coming out? Yeah, it's difficult. Um, I know personally because we did it last year against the big teams and it's hard to break down. And as, as you said, it's, we do need the fans to be patient. But on the other hand, we're, we're in the lead, so at some point they need to open up and try and go for it, which might play into our hands. Angela, just away from the game tomorrow, if I can just ask you about a player who was here last season. Uh, some talk that maybe Liam Miller may return to Kilmarnock. Is that something that you're interested in, aware of? Is he a player that you would like to see back here? Yes. Uh, as I said uh, before, uh, a lot of the conversation, negotiation are behind the scenes at the moment. Of course, we, we want to add uh, um, more players, uh, particularly in up front of uh, uh, support of uh, Brophy, of course. But at the moment we we are in, the, in this way, you know. Angelo, with your experience in mm. Europe as an assistant coach, yeah, how tough do you think it is, or do you think it's possible for Kilmarnock? to reach at least the playoffs or the group stage? Yeah, but uh, in this moment uh, I think it's important to our focus is uh, at, this, uh, at this game. Uh, our objective tomorrow uh, are uh, to get uh, the round and uh, of course to play better than last week. This is, uh, in this moment I think is important for us. Uh, our focus in this game Perfect. stopped. Are you surprised about how many rounds Scottish teams have to go through to try and get to the group stage? Yeah, yeah, but um, I think... Uh, um, That's a no, because I think uh, the Scottish uh, now, Scottish team now um, are increasing our performance and respect in, the, in the Europe.